Welcome to BALPA's 2012 Annual Report. In this short nine-minute presentation, we want to give you both a snapshot of some of the work that BALPA has undertaken this year and a flavour of some of the big issues we're tackling. We'll divide the presentation into three main areas, your career, your profession and your association. Let's start with your career. Just how are we performing at protecting your job, your terms, conditions and how well do we support you when things go wrong? Now the pay scene has been tough this year with high inflation and low pay increases across the whole economy. But against a national average of private sector pay rises of 1.8%, it's BALPA that secured 3% plus pay increases in our recognised companies. Now each company negotiation is different with its own specific circumstances, but the BALPA approach is to be as professional as those we represent, and that means understanding the employer's business, sending in our accountants to pressure test your airline's finances, triangulating this by talking with the city investment community, ensuring legal compliance, researching and building our case. BALPA will involve you throughout the process and our new online voting system handle over 10,000 votes in 44 surveys and ballots in 2012. It's methodical and it's professional and we need every bit of that in 2013 which promises to be an equally tough year. Now a big challenge in 2012 was the sale of BMI to IAG and throughout aviation's short history, airlines and pilot associations across the globe have struggled to deal with such events. But whilst the eventual deal was not to everyone's satisfaction, the BALPA deal got a resounding yes from both communities. But the disgrace of the BMI sale was the dumping of the pension liability into the Pension Protection Fund. And we're fighting this every step of the way. We've lobbied the pension regulator, government ministers and HMRC who have the nerve to say that Lufthansa's compensation payment should be taxed. We have run stories in the media and plan a major offensive against previous owner Sir Michael Bishop. We're not giving up on this. Not only because it would be unfair to BMI pensioners, but the precedent it would set for others to copy is very dangerous. Unfortunately, the news was also bad for BMI Baby, which was closed down in September. But BALPA continues to support the members and is pressing BA to do the right thing, as well as organising career fairs to open up opportunities in other airlines. Baby may have closed, but the pilots aren't forgotten. And BALPA's career team have developed a host of other services, including CV writing and interview advice, insider information on airline recruitment processes, as well as the latest job vacancies, both here and overseas. As well as these big negotiations, BALPA is here to defend you individually when things go wrong, the unsung work of BALPA and its amazing band of reps. We have seen a marked increase in grievance and disciplinary action, and new laws are making this more challenging. This year alone, we have opened over 60 personal legal cases. We are representing 300 members in disciplinaries and grievance cases. And we have over 6,000 employment tribunals lodged in the Holly Bay case, a case that we have taken to every court in the UK and at European level, and we have won. In 2012, we have strengthened the support we can give you down route when things go wrong by affiliating to the International Transport Federation and this will allow you to access support, sometimes in some of the world's less pleasant places. BARPA is challenging new employment contracts and the growing casualisation of the profession through schemes such as FlexiCrew. They are wrong. We are challenging this through the law, by exposing it in the media, by pressing the regulator to take the risk seriously, and by highlighting to wannabe pilots that they should think twice. But the key to turning this round is collective resistance, making sure all pilots, wherever they are in their career, stick together. In EasyJet, the campaign is called EasyJet Plane, EasyJet Pilot. And we have produced guidance through a major research project with a Labour Research Department that shames those employers who are doing the exploiting and will strengthen your negotiators. At the other end of the career, we continue to defend existing pensions in a climate where every pension scheme in the country is under attack. And we're pressing for better defined contribution pension schemes, especially those that are providing a poor return 
or have a high management fee. This work also means challenging younger generations of pilots to think pensions and consider whether they invest enough, which is why we'll be launching a major education drive next year with DARPA Financial Solutions. And what about the profession? Making every flight a safe flight is our vision. DARPA pilots have the combined wisdom of over 50 million flying hours, and we are in a unique position to safeguard and improve flight safety. And with over 75 technical reps, seven specialist study groups, and a five-strong permanent staff team, BALPA makes important contributions. We've recently bolstered this with a new technical expert whose previous experience as a commercial pilot and whose recent MSc included a dissertation on pilot fatigue risk management in long-haul airlines. Our biggest campaign this year was on European proposed FTL rules, and work continues as we move into the European phase of activity. We have been at this campaign for two years, but we are not giving up. A development in the campaign that will colour issues well beyond FTLs is the way it has challenged our relationship with our regulator, the CAA. How we work with them and how we manage the conflict between safety and economics will be a factor in future flight safety work. And looking across the flight safety landscape, pilot fatigue is just one of the issues we need to address. Issues such as the depth and breadth of pilot training, over-reliance on automation, inadequate regulation, and an evolving culture where incidents are not reported for fear of reprisal will result in fatal consequences unless we, as BALPA, inject our wisdom into this debate. And that's why BALPA has strengthened its voice with well over 1,000 media mentions in the past year. We are recruiting and training pilots to act as media spokesmen and we'll be launching ourselves as the one-stop shop for media comment. And new media as well plays an important part in amplifying this voice. We now have a major presence on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Our political influence is growing too. We have hosted two events at Westminster in the last 12 months, most recently a member lobby that was attended by over 100 MPs. And we also secured a very helpful Transport Select Committee inquiry, which brought a number of MPs on side on the FTL issue. But it is also the power of you, our members, that has driven this influence. Over 1,000 of you have written letters, met MPs, and compelled your colleagues to do the same. MPs are hearing the professional voice of pilots, more and more, and we will continue this work. And so on to your association, an association with 9,000 members, 250 pilot reps and 30 staff. And pilot reps are the lifeblood of BALPA, whether on a company council, flight safety group or the log board. It is the reps that make BALPA fly, which is why we need to support volunteers with high quality training and support. This year over 120 reps attended a training course, most of which are run with specialist external expertise. And next year we'll be looking to a 50% increase in this programme. We continue to reshape our staff structure and we now have in-house experts in law, scheduling, industrial relations, public affairs, finance, medicine and flight safety to name but a few. All of these individuals are there to support the work of the REC community and serve you, our members. Now we don't always get it right, but we learn from our experience in the best traditions of aviation. For instance, we have, with independent legal support, reviewed our 2008 High Court experience over open skies and secured a settlement for BALPA and improved our processes. And a full independent review of our experience in 2011 Virgin Pay Dispute by a Professor of Public Law at King's College London led to a new approach to negotiations at BALPA and a change to our constitution. Our finances are robust. We had a surplus in 2011 and in 2012 we are on track to make a further small surplus through careful stewardship of your money. But we now have over £9 million in cash and investments and that's important because the first thing an employer will do if they face collective action is look at our publicly filed accounts to see how strong we are. And if they do, they will find us in good health. If you want to see our full accounts, you can access them at www.balpa.org forward slash accounts. 
So that was a snapshot of 2012. BALPA is for pilots and run by pilots. It is your voice. Thank you for being a member. If you want to learn more about any of the work that BALPA does or have any questions or comments, then please contact us at we're listening at balpa.org. Thank you.